Hi everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here. I um, wanted to do a test today on the effectiveness of this DSB fabrication tuner that was developed by Dan Bramley. Dan Bramley is a very accomplished F-class shooter and has uh, decided to go ahead and make his own tuner. So got a hold of one of these and um, went ahead and threaded a barrel up. Um, I actually chose a barrel that <laughs> I had some particular issues with tuning. Um, I had tried tuning with this particular barrel um, with two different types of powders, two different bullets, and had a lot of difficulty tuning the barrel. Um, I, I was able to find a decent tune, and in fact, with this barrel, um, I won a 600 yard club championship match a couple years ago, but um, the tune quickly fell off after that day, <laughs> and it's been extremely difficult to find um, a decent tune window on this barrel. So, you know, I went ahead and basically loaded the dice against this tuner and went ahead and chose one of my most difficult barrels to, to get a good tune in just to see if this tuner works, you know, and it works on this barrel, then that will be um, quite interesting. Okay, let's take a look at design. It's a very simple design. I really like it. it. Has the numbers there to kind of identify where you're, where you're at, where the tuner is at. Um, inside there is a rubber O-ring. Um, with that O-ring, put a little grease on it. Um, that way it doesn't get too tight on there. But yeah, that O-ring is what actually holds the tuner in place. Um, you might think, wow, that's not much. But it is. Um, that O-ring really holds that tuner into place solid um, while still allowing you to be able to sort of manually turn it with your with your hand. There are no locking rings. That's another thing I like about it. Um, I'm usually one that loses the tools <laughs> associated with locking those rings. So I really love this dial tuner where um, I don't need a tool actually to use it. And then it's threaded up front. Um, with those threads, they're very fine threads, so I um, recommend using um, some kind of Loctite anti-seize. Um, this is LB8060, um, works really well uh, for barrels and, and tuner threads. And Anyway, so yeah, um, here you go. You just thread, thread it, and notice the diameter. This is a 1.25 straight barrel, and you keep a lot of diameter here. Um, that's what I love about this tuner. I've seen a lot of tuners where you gotta turn it down quite a bit, so the diameter is very small. Um, this one preserves a lot of that 1.25 diameter. I, I believe it's 1.125 is how far it's turned down. Um, and then you turn down a little bit um, off the back here to enable the O-ring to engage um, on your barrel. So here we go, let's go ahead and screw it on. So easy to screw on from there. And then right here is right around where that O-ring is engaging now on the barrel, that small part that we turned down there. And then we just turn this thing all the way onto the barrel. As you can see, I'm turning this all with just my hand force. There's no additional force that's applied to it. So it's all pretty easy to turn there. Okay. And there you go. So no set screws, no nothing, just you know turn it right there with your hand hand power um, it's a 32 tpi thread pitch gives real fine adjustments the actual weight of this thing is 2.625 ounces so it really won't interfere with uh, making weight restrictions um, another thing that i really like about it is this the tuner sits flush uh, with the muzzle so there's no interfering with cleaning materials or getting it dirty or anything like that. Um, you may ask, well, once you start tuning, you're going to start turning it out. But typically, once you once you turn it all the way back and start turning to do your, tu your tuning, you're going to find a tune really soon. So um, I found a tune at 17 here, and I put a little mark here on the barrel so that I can keep track of where it is. I really found a good one at 17, and look, it's, it's still flush with the, the muzzle there. So any cleaning materials or anything like that fall right out of the front, not into the tuner itself. So yeah, really good design. So I went ahead and loaded several rounds 
Um, and really, I use the um, Burger 108 in my six dasher chambered. This is a six dasher rifle um, and uh, CCI 450s. The powder I used was H4350, and I used 34.5 grains of that with the, again, the Burger 108 hybrid target. Um, the Burger 108s like to seat anywhere from 18 to 26 thousandths off. So I just kind of picked the middle and seated these at around 22 thousandths off. Um, the powder charge, um, I took that from previous experience. Um, typically the charge that works best that I've seen was H4350 with at least my chambers of six dasher is usually in the low 34s, mid 34s. Um, upper 34s is kind of pushing it a little bit with speed and so I go with kind of more of a moderate load. So I just picked 34 and a half, loaded them up. Um, the thing with tuners is you can load and go <clears throat> and you don't necessarily have to have a tuned load to begin with. You just show up and fire what you got and start turning the tuner basically. <clears throat> um, well, here's what I shot. So I had the tuner set at the number 10 setting to start with um, and shot my first few shots there. These are all three shot groups. One of them popped up. Um, I did shoot four Fowlers, so um, it was, the barrel was fouled, I guess, to some degree. Um, so that that flyer, I don't know, but <laughs> boy, that was pretty small two and one there. Anyway, then I went to nine, shot a three-shot group here, went to eight, shot a three-shot group. Um, eight is where the tuner stopped. I had no ability to turn it in more. So I started turning it out. I turned it out to 11, out to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Um, as you can see, all the group sizes were very small. Um, I had um, some point twos, um, a couple point ones, and actually a couple zeros. <laughs> So um, shot very small a couple times. Um, the largest group was 0.469 at the 10 setting. Again, that's because of that flyer there. I'm not sure whether that was legit or maybe it was a cold bore. Maybe I didn't have the barrel fouled enough. I don't know, but um, it kind of fell out of the typical pattern of all these. So it is a little unusual, but I went ahead and counted it as the group size. So anyway, either way you can see the tuning effect is pretty obvious that as you turn the setting, the groups start to shrink, you know, and then they start to grow a little bit. So from setting 11, 12, 13, very small group at 11, grows a little bit at 12 and 13, and then 14, 15 grows a bit, and then 16, 17, 18 goes back down. And so you see this, what's called the um, curvolinear trend where tuning as you're turning the tuner, it gets smaller, smaller, bigger, bigger, smaller, smaller. Um, obviously that is exactly what we're seeing here on the paper. Um, I measured these groups and put them into this graph here. And the thing about the paper that's important, um, and what I did is I put all of the groups together in one straight line. And then I took a pencil and I drew what's called a sine wave line. And what you can see with that sine wave line is kind of the pattern of the point of impact of the groups. So from here you can see the pattern is kind of low and then it dips down a little bit lower, goes up a little bit, dips down a little bit, goes up, dips down. And then this pattern here is straight. 16, 17, and 18 had a very straight um, point of impact curve. So they this is where it flattens out. So POI for setting 16, 17, and 18, POI being point of impact, I'm sorry, um, is identical. Um, so you may look at this and go, well, look, 11, 12, and 13 had very similar point of impacts. But if you, again, look at the curve, take a piece of pencil and draw a curve, and you still see that it goes up and then down and then up. So through 11 through 13, <clears throat> there is a peak and a valley going on here. But with 16, 17, and 18, it's flat. So this right here is the tune window. So I, I'm saying 16, 17, 18 is the tune window, and I'm gonna set it at 17. And then if I go out of tune, I'm gonna move it to either 16 or 18 and likely get it back into tune. So this right here is a tune window. Um, what I will tell you right now is on this barrel, 
that is phenomenal. I never was able, I fired probably 300 rounds trying to tune this barrel. And it, this was one of the most difficult barrels that I have had to try to tune um, without the tuner, of course. And so uh, when I found this tune window, um, this was phenomenal. This is the best this barrel has ever shot in several hundred rounds. Um, and it looks to be a very stable tune window. So actually before I would have probably never have taken this barrel um, into competition, but I am now gonna start using this barrel in competition with this tuner on it. Anyway, so there you go. Just wanted to give you a good review of, of, of this tuner. Um, it is an excellent tuner. It is DSB fabrication, and I will leave a link to that in my YouTube write-up. Thank you, everybody. Please subscribe, like, and share.